Hello everyone. I would like to discuss with you two articles published in the Global Journal on Quality and Safety uh, in Healthcare. These articles are related to uh, a communication model with families um, of the patients. And actually, we encounter in societies with large extended family that you know many interference with the family members in the care, different opinions, uh, uh, repeated questions to the healthcare professionals, uh, different expectation, and so on. So the model take care of this issue by uh, enforcing of the appointment of one person, which is the most responsible family member, and the patient remains in the center as he is the one who decides, he or she is, is the one who decides who is the uh, most responsible family member, which may be totally different than, next of kin, than the next of kin. And he can always change that uh, appointment. And if the patient is in a condition where he cannot make a decision, such as being minor, comatose, mental status changes, uh, in, you know, then the, um, we default into the prevailing laws and regulations in terms of appointing the decision maker and next of kin. What is also important about the, uh, the model is um, it highlights the points of contacts and the communication where the physicians and the healthcare professional has to communicate with the uh, patients and their family. For example, you know, when uh, there is uh, in the admission and discharge process, when there's a procedure, uh, when there is uh, a change in the patient's condition where they may require intensive care unit or other critical uh, care issues, and then when uh, there is a procedure, is and and we said the procedure when there is um, a decision about the code status, you know, the resuscitation and so on. So, so these are you know the point of communication where it's mandatory that the healthcare professional communicate with the appointed most responsible family member. Um, you know, so we have in the first article we describe the model, the characteristics of the models, and so on. And in the second article, we presented our experience in trying to implement this model and the lessons learned from that model. The good thing about it that it's a flexible, it's adaptable. So, uh, you know, any in any setting, um, you know, those who are interested can apply it and share with the with the rest of the uh, you know healthcare professionals their experience. So we can all learn from uh, each other and trying to improve communication with the patients and their family, thus enhancing uh, patient-centered care. Good luck uh, for you in reading these articles and applying the best model for your patients and seeing your work hopefully in uh, the Global Journal on Quality and Safety uh, in Healthcare or other journals. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.